A long time ago, near a forest, there was a beautiful house, where a goat lived with her seven children. One day, the goat said to her children, I am going to the forest for some necessary things. You all stay at home and don't go outside, because you know that a terrifying wolf lives in the forest, and he often comes around here to hunt. The children replied, Mother, don't worry, we will stay inside and play together. We won't step outside. As the goat was leaving, she turned to her children again and said, Lock the door properly and do not open it for anyone until I return. After reminding her kids, the goat went to the forest for food. Meanwhile, the cunning wolf was hiding outside their house, listening to their conversation. Shortly after the goat left, the wolf knocked on the door. The children asked, Who is it? The wolf replied, It's your mother. Open the door, children. But the kid said, No, you can't be our mother. Our mother's voice is very soft and sweet, but your voice doesn't sound like hers. You are the wolf. Go away. We won't open the door. The wolf thought for a while and then went to a shop. There, he grabbed a bottle of honey and drank it in one go to soften his voice. He returned to the goat's house and knocked on the door again. The children asked, Who is it? The wolf, now with a changed voice, said, It's your mother. Open the door. My children, kids looked down and saw the wolf's paws through the gap under the door. Realizing the wolf's trick, they said, We will not open the door. We know you are not our mother. We saw your paws, and they are not beautiful and white like our mother's. You are the wolf. Go away. The wolf, once again defeated, left. This time, he went to another shop, stole some flour, and rubbed it on his paws to make them look white. Once more, the wolf went to the goats house and knocked on the door. When the children asked who it was, the wolf replied, It's your mother. Open the door. This time, the children were fooled by the wolf's sweet voice and white paws, so they opened the door. As soon as they did, the wolf barged in, saying, Now, I will eat you all. The children were terrified and ran to hide, but the wolf found all of them except for one who hid well. After eating six of the kids, the wolf thought, Well, I'm too full now. It doesn't matter if, I didn't find the last one, with this, he left the goat's, house and headed back to the forest, once in the forest, the wolf felt very sleepy and lay down under a tree to rest, soon, he fell into a deep sleep, when the goat returned home, she saw the door was open, upon entering, she found the house in disarray, just then, the youngest kid came running, to her and, crying, told her everything that had happened, the goat took her child with her and quickly, headed toward the forest, not long after, they found the wolf sleeping under a tree, the goat saw the wolf sleeping, deeply and cut open his belly with a knife, as soon, as she opened the belly, her six children came out alive and well, the goat then told her children, quickly, go and gather some stones, the children found some stones, and the goat placed them inside the wolf's belly and sewed him back up with a needle and thread, after finishing, they all hid behind a large rock to watch what would happen next, after a while, the wolf woke up and stretched, saying to himself, I feel so heavy, I think I should drink some water. Saying this, he stumbled toward the river, but he could barely walk properly. Once more, the wolf muttered to himself, I shouldn't have eaten all the kids, my stomach feels so heavy, I wonder when I'll digest this meal. The wolf struggled to reach the river, and as he bent down to drink water, he lost his balance due to the weight of the stones in his stomach and fell into the river, drowning. Thanks to the goat's cleverness, she and her children were finally rid of the greedy, cruel wolf for good.